How you doing everyone? This is Eric R. Music and this is the first of several product reviews I'll be doing for my YouTube channel. Today I'll be reviewing three products, one of them being Charvin Fine Oils, Imperial Bristle Brushes, and Hamburg Premier Brushes. Charvin Fine Oils. Two years ago I was given the privilege to sample Charvin Extra Fine Oils for review. I was beyond thrilled with the product. So when I was asked to test their fine oil series, I jumped at the opportunity. I really love the consistency of their product, and though I tend to paint in a very polished manner, I like to build up a certain amount of texture in my portrait and my figure work. Having a paint that has a good body to it is essential in achieving my intended goals. Depending on the color, the oils vary from a soft buttery texture to a very solid and thick texture which is really great for painting in highlights and thicker impasto textures. The green I used was really great for building up the highlight textures and the laurel crown for my painting of Virgil. To make great three-dimensional elements you need a combination of tones, colors, and especially textures to get those effects. I had the same great experiences when using the Extra Fine series to build up the masonry in my painting of Helen in Paris in 2016. My normal palette for skin tones is slightly different than the offering of colors in this particular package, but I really enjoyed the versatility of the colors in this offering. I was able to build up several layers of skin tones to achieve the level of realism I strive for in my work. These pigments are of the highest quality and work very well adapting to my normal process. Next we have Imperial Bristle Brushes. Every brush in your arsenal should have a purpose. Since I've painted on wood and metal for the last 18 years, I tend to favor softer brushes. However, there are times I paint on canvas and brushes like the Imperial Bristle series are excellent for this substrate. But since I do work on smooth surfaces most of the time, I wanted to give them a fair chance in painting on a Lumicomp and Ampersand Gesso board. For me, I found them to be an excellent brush for putting down the initial layers of my portraits and for painting in the landscape elements in my paintings. The bristles are stiff but versatile enough to put down just the right amount of texture that balances the polished portrait elements of my work. While they aren't as soft as the Hamburg Premier series that I'll be talking about next, they're an essential brush for doing preliminary work as well as the environments in my paintings. I really loved how fast I could work using the Imperial Bristle series when I was roughing in cavern elements in my Dante's Inferno series for Canto 7. This is good news for me because with 33 more panels left to paint in my Dante series, I need to work really fast and precise so I can complete the series. I've used the brushes now for over two months and they are truly a workhorse product. They are built well and can handle the aggressive brushwork you sometimes need to create textures and highlights. Last in this review, I have Hamburg Premier Brushes. I did a previous review of Hamburg Premier Brushes back in 2016, but I was really excited to get a second chance to use them again. Since my last review, I've changed some of the process I use, and it's allowed me to utilize brushes in a different way than I was back then. This time around, I was working on three different paintings. One was on Lumicomp, and the other two were on Ampersand Museum Series Gesso Boards. Now last time I reviewed these brushes I found them to be very versatile, especially on textured surfaces like canvas. This time I used them exclusively on smooth and ultra smooth surfaces and I was extremely surprised at how great they work. While they have the stiffness of a hog hair brush, they are really great for roughing in areas of rock and landscape for my Dante series. They are also soft enough to use on the final highlights of my portrait work. I generally prefer a brush that's not too soft for my final highlights in my figures. This is why I tend to favor my brushes that are a bit worn and frayed for this work. Surprisingly, the Hamburg Premier brushes have the same feel since they hold up to a lot of aggressive brushwork and they tend to hold their shape better. I still have two brushes left from the last time I did the review two years ago, which proves they're tough and versatile. It's a great product and a go-to brush for aggressive and polished paint work alike. I hope you've enjoyed this review and you'll go and check out the products yourself. I have links to all the products in the description. You can get all these products directly for yourself from Jerry's Artorama. I've shopped there for over 25 years and I can honestly say there's no better place to get your art materials. Take care.